In this video, we will study this momentum principle and flow analysis. Here are four subtopics introduction, application of equation to calculate force in bends, pipe, enlargement, and reducer. And next is force exerted by zeros on stationary and moving bends. Four concept of angular momentum with examples. These are the subtopic we study in momentum principle and flow analysis. We have completed all the related theory of flow measurement in the previous video. So we complete this all four topics in this topic momentum principle and flow analysis. So today we will start with introduction. Here we have to study what is momentum first. Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. But in fluid mechanics, what mass is used in the flow analysis? So, in case of solid mechanics, we use this. And in case of fluid mechanics, we use this MB in different way. So, Momentum equation is the statement of Newton's second law. We have studied the second law of Newton. What this second law tells? Newton's second law relates the sum of forces is with acceleration. And this acceleration takes place in the direction of the force. We use this Newton's second law for flow analysis. Here is mass m. We use mass of the object which is moving in the solid mechanics, but in fluid mechanics, what mass is moving? So we use this equation or Newton's second law in different way. So let's write what is Newton's second law. The statement of Newton's second law. Rate of change of momentum Rate of change of momentum of a body is equal to resultant force acting on the body takes place in the direction of force. And this is d by dt mb, rate of change of momentum ma, net force. This is equal to d by dt mb equal to f. This equation is this. We have to verify this in case of fluid. How this is possible in case of fluid? Determination of change of momentum in fluid. First of all, we consider a stream tube. I will make a stream tube. In 2D, we can also make this is the 3D view here. Yeah. 3D view and this is 2D view. Your area of cross section that this is inlet and this is outlet. Here area is 
a1 here a2 area is increased and velocity of flow include is b1 here here b2 let the fluid or liquid of density rho flow across the steam tube we start our determination of change of momentum in fluid by assuming this steady non uniform and continuous flow what is steady flow or we have to understand steady flow steady non uniform flow means condition change from point to point what the parameters such as velocity area across section pressure these are changes but do not change with respect to time while flowing this fluid of density rho condition changes but does not change with time conditions such as your area is changes here is a1 here is a2 and velocity here is u1 here is b2 this condition are changes but does not change with the time here we assume this area at inlet is a1 outlet is a2 so we can find here volume of liquid entering here in small time suppose here is the volume of liquid entering in small section in small time dt delta t which is equal to your velocity into time is the distance travel into area similarly here a2 b2 delta t is the volume exit here so here i want to write in small time delta d the distance u1 here vel velocity is assumed as v1 so here is v1 v1 delta d is moved by the fluid so we can calculate the volume here volume is equal to the area at here a1 into the distance of v1 into delta d this is small distance is v1 delta d volume is this we have here volume so that we can find the mass entering here mass is density into there is density is rho into volume volume is a1 u1 delta t we have mass so that we can find here momentum momentum of fluid entering the stirring stream tube momentum is product of mass and velocity velocity here is v1 so it is we have to multiply this with v1 rho into a1 into v1 into delta t into u1 here we found the momentum of fluid entering the similarly we can find the momentum of fluid exiting this tube stream tube this is equal to here density into a2 into b2 into delta t into v2 similarly we can do this procedure now we can use here newton second law newton second law tells so 
सम अफ फोर्सेस इज इक्वल टू रेट अफ चेंज अफ मोमेन्टम वी हेव हियर इनिशियल मोमेन्टम एंड हियर फाइनल मोमेन्टम सो वी यूज दिस न्यूटन सेकेंड लयर नेट फोर्स इज लेट एफ इज द नेट फोर्स एंड रेट अफ चेंज अफ मोमेन्टम फाइनल मोमेन्टम माइनस इनिशियल मोमेन्टम अपन स्मल टाइम डेल्टा टी we have delta t small time so that now we can use the continuity equation we assume this flow is non uniform steady and continuous so by continuity equation we have q equal to a1 b1 equal to a2 b2 so we use this here rho into a2 b2 is q delta t into b2 minus रो क्यू डेल्टा टी यू वन एयर अपन डेल्टा टी दिस डेल्टा टी डेल्टा टी अपर वी कैन टेक कॉमन एंड पॉट विथ लोअर सो दैट नो नीड टू राइट एयर दिस डेल्टा टी एयर वी हैव ओनली रिमेनिंग इज रो क्यू वी टू माइनस रो क्यू यू वन इज रिमेन एयर so rho q is common here so that f is equal to rho q v2 minus v1 in place of rho q we can write m dot here i want to show you how this rho q is equal to mq m dot rho density into discharge rho q equal to density rho is density into discharge is volume per unit time and we have density into volume is mass and this upon time this mass per second is written as here m dot v2 minus v1 so we found here this force on the fluid flowing fluid here we analyze the mass per second entering and exiting this is m dot but in case of solid mechanics we used whole mass of body m this is equation of force exerted by the fluid in two dimensional sorry in one dimensional here velocity initial velocity and final velocity are in same direction so it is one dimensional flow yeah.